Welcome to my fourth video on reinforced concrete design based on Euro Code 2. Textbook for this lesson. Today we will continue with the topic of concrete shrinkage. <coughs> In the previous video, we have formed the equations for shrinkage. Now we are going to through some calculations. Here's a work example. A member contains 1% reinforcement. Free shrinkage range epsilon C S of concrete is 200 times 10 to the power of minus 6. The modulus of elasticity density of steel and concrete is given as 215 kN per mm square respectively. Question. Find the shrinkage stress in concrete that is restrained by steel only. Answer. We plug in the above numbers into the formula for steel stress first. After we get the steel stress, we can find the concrete stress. This is the formula we derived from the last video. FSE is the stress of the steel. Let us proceed by replacing the letters on the right hand side with numbers. Epsilon CS is a free shrinkage strain. Their value is as shown. ES is there. Alpha is ES divided by ECM, which equals to 200 divided by 15. AS divided by AC is the reinforcement content, 1%. Putting all together, we get this, which equals to 35.3 Newton per mm square. This is the stress of the steel. Before we go further, let's look into the meaning of this number. It represents the amount of steel, the amount of steel that is compressed. Compared to the designed strength of steel at 500 Newton per mm square, this represents about 7.06% of design strength. Let's continue with to find the concrete stress using the relationship between steel and concrete stress, where AS over AC is a, is 0.01 or 1 percent, which is the steel content. FSC is 35.3 newton per mm square, which was calculated earlier. We find the answer to be 0.35 newton per mm square. This is the amount of tension to the concrete. The amount is negligible, but this is only applicable when the concrete is partially restrained by the steel. But what if the structure is fully restrained? The number of the free shrinkage strain for the concrete is you know, being fully restrained means the concrete must be stretched by the same amount it shrank. Using the stress strain relationship, we get the stress by multiplying the strain with the modulus. The answer is 3 Newton per mm square. This is a lot bigger than the partial restraint scenario. You may also notice that the equation that the concrete shrinkage stress for a fully restrained number member is independent for steel content. This means the addition of steel will not help. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.